today we're going to be taking an updated look at the top 10 most powerful players in rise of kingdoms in 2023 what's going on guys cheers now as you guys know every couple of months i like to check in to see who are the most powerful players in the game and we haven't taken a look at the top 10 most powerful players since november of 2022. now originally i was going to do this video on the first of april to cover the first quarter of 2023 but then i did my april fool's joke and then call of dragons as there's just been a lot of content coming out right now so i figured this video is long over to over 150 days have passed since the last version of this video and a lot has changed Changed. and I'm sure you noticed the gentleman on the screen here and this is a player who is an honorable mention they technically would be in the top 12 and if you don't follow rise of kingdoms on social media like Instagram or Twitter they did actually recently release a top 10 most powerful list amongst some other stats that they revealed to the community and technically based on power this player should be on there but I think there are two things preventing that from happening for one you can see that I actually have part of their name blocked out because perhaps Lilith can considers it to be profanity and doesn't want to put it on their social media but also this player used to go by the name of boss Blake you may have remembered this player from previous episodes of this series and their power has not changed since the last episode which means that this player probably quit rise of kingdoms I mean their power hasn't moved a single point and they're no longer in an alliance so we have to pour one out for boss Blake this is a legend who's been playing the game for a long time and is often in these top 10 most powerful lists so I figured we would start the video with that honorable mention now there is one other honorable mention that I do want to put in the video because I have a feeling that there is a player on the top 10 list that quit and if they did then this honorable mention would technically make it into that top 10 list and that is none other than TSNMF now this is a player who is a legend in rise of kingdoms they've even watched some of my videos so MF if you're watching thank you I appreciate the support MF is also on the official Lilith list that they released a couple of days ago so again I did want to make sure I mentioned them here but they're sitting at 737 million power with 30 billion kill points an absolutely insane amount of kill points here 21.6 billion tier 5 and 8.6 billion tier 4 kill points rocking the Arabia civilization MF is currently in the peacekeepers Alliance from kingdom 1029 but this player does typically roam around and migrate around for different kvks if I'm not mistaken if we look at their more information we could see that they are currently at their highest power ever which I mean that is a scary thought MF has never been more powerful than he is right now which is insane 225 million dead troops oh my god ladies and gentlemen that is just a ridiculous amount uh we can see here 12 billion resources gathered and 243 billion resource assistance which is ridiculous if we take a look at the photo album i do believe we've seen this before but these are two hall of heroes that are insane this is 40 million dead troops and if we look here they are all tier 5 units and if we take a look at the second one it is 54 five million dead troops again all tier five just in absolute i mean this album right here is one of the sexiest albums in all of rise of kingdoms strictly because of these hall of heroes and then finally uh, we can take a look at their commanders you can see that they don't share any information with us because they don't appear to be expertise even though we know for sure that they are they own 90 commanders i think that's all the commanders in the game if i'm not mistaken you could see zhang yu as the drill master which means he's probably doing some zhang yu nevsky rallies here is what i suspect we see guan yu with the troop health and Boudica with the defense and health so probably some archer rallies here as well and before we officially move on to the top 10 list consider dropping a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton and if 737 million power is an honorable mention then you know this video is about to be insane all right moving on to number 10 on the list we have bt cyborg now this is a player that i think has been on every single top 10 list in the history of this series currently they're in kingdom 2489 so clearly they are jumping around to different kingdoms but right now they're sitting at 762 million power with over 7 billion kill points you can see here 5.1 billion tier 5 1.9 billion tier 4 so right away you can see that 
MF as a runner up for power completely blows some of the players on this list out of the water when it comes to kill points, which is just, I mean, unbelievable. It's unbelievable that MF is at his highest power ever. But taking a look at the more information section, you can see that the highest power ever was 818 million power, which is insane with 93 million dead troops. We have 8 billion resources gathered with 31 billion resource assistance. So again, if you look at MF, I mean, this, yo, his numbers are insane. Taking a look at the photo album, we have a couple of different superheroes here. I do remember this album, I think from last video, but we have a couple of Captain America. We have Superman. We have a, uh, I'm pretty sure this is Obi-Wan Kenobi, but that, that could be wrong. Please do not roast me in the comment section below. And we've got, a uh, we got the guy that used to bully you in college. All right. <laughs> taking a look at the commander view we could see here we got Ragnar doing the uh the barbing that's pretty interesting there we have of course Boudica as the drill master with the bonus attack we have Nevsky and Joan here so this is probably his favorite combination as is the case for most players we have one percent attack defense and health and March speed if this is a rally combo which is pretty impressive we have Theodora for troop health really confused as to what Theodora is doing over here certainly uh certainly the first and last time we'll probably see Theodora in this video video so very interesting stuff he's also rocking the Ottoman Empire civilization which I suspect we'll see quite a bit of in this video this is a very popular civ for open field fighting in the late game moving on to another honorable mention actually because this player technically would be number nine on the list but they did quit the game quite a long time ago and that is none other than Burnaby so this player is at 804 million power this power has not moved for the last I think one or two episodes of this series so we know for sure that Burnaby has quit the game 1.5 billion kill points so yeah I mean a player of this power with that little kill points is insane uh, I think at this point this player's city is probably teleported off the map so it's probably impossible for them to be zeroed so this number will almost certainly never change moving on to the actual number nine on the list this is a player that I think actually recently might have quit which is kind of awkward but technically their power has changed since the last episode of this series so I'm going to include them as a player and that is none other than dn cookie this is also known as dark cookie okay this is a player that's been in these top 10 lists for a long time now you can see that their power has only changed by about 2 million so they're at 916 million power like the fact that we're at number nine on the list and we're closing in on 1 billion power already is just insane okay you can see their kill points have changed by about 50 million since last episode if i recall correctly we're at 7 billion kill points 5.4 billion kill points for tier 5 1.6 billion for tier 4 also ottoman empire civilization in kingdom 1556 but there's no alliance here so there's a couple of indicators here that to me that suggest that this player has quits i'm not really sure if that is the case we'll actually have to wait and see over the next couple of months if we take a look here highest power ever is basically where they're at right now with 87 million dead troops 2 billion resources gathered and 10 billion resource assistance so again mf just blows this player out of the water in terms of uh you know kill points and resources so yeah if we look at their commander view uh they have not enabled this feature which I, again i don't know if that means that they quit or I don't know what's going on there but yeah all right for the rest of the video there's no more honorable mentions there's no more players that may or may not have quit okay these are just absolute legends and coming in at number eight is none other than Mr Hope now this player is brand new to the list and that's a very rare thing that we see here in the, in this series I mean the the amount of power you need to even get on this list is just ridiculous and this is a player from 2338 so a relatively younger kingdom very creepy icon over here looks like a i don't know something out of five nights at freddy's I, i'm not really sure but they're sitting at 937 million power with 4.7 billion kill points you can see 3.3 billion from tier 5 1.3 billion from tier 4 absolutely insane if we take a look at their more information you can see that they did peak at over 1 billion power so i mean this is this is the highest power list we've ever done on this channel absolutely insane 39 million deads we have 6.6 .6 billion resources gathered and 6.6 .6 billion resource assistance so again a much younger player here if we take a look there is no album on this player they are also rocking the ottoman empire civilization of course and if we take a look at their commander view we can see that they've got some of the suspects we may expect so we have guan yu we have nevsky with the troop health 
uh we have trajan actually as the knighthead which is very interesting i actually just recently made a video talking about the top five open field pairs in rise of kingdoms and trajan did make that list so if you missed that video go ahead and check it out and then of course we have Boudica as the charge captain so seeing probably some Boudica henry rallies i suspect uh obviously probably a max out minamoto and missing three commanders here so I'm wondering what that's all about i suppose if they're a new player they're probably missing dao chan and lu bu but who else i'm not really sure moving on to number seven we have wild lion this is another newcomer to the list and again it's just insane to me that these players have gained so much power in just a few short months wild lion coming in at 949 million power which is insane coming from again kingdom 2338 so the same kingdom as the previous player here on the list sitting at 4.4 billion kill points 2.7 billion tier 5 1.6 billion tier 4 also again rocking the ottoman empire civilization now if we take a look here no album uh but this is i mean we have the emperor's new clothes and golden army we have 56 pieces of legendary and 40 legendary with a special talent 40 legendaries with the talent jesus christ that's like a million dollars right there okay if we take a look here uh, at their more information you can see also peaking at over 1 billion power absolutely insane we have 43 million dead troops 7 billion resources gathered and 8.9 billion resource assistance here so i love the picture this is just a cute little kitty with i assume golden grills i guess that's what he means by wild lion i have no idea taking a look at the commander view we have of course Boudica and Henry so this is the first time we're seeing Henry in the video which is I mean as we suspect they'll pretty much always, always be paired with Boudica Nevsky with the one percent troop health and Guan Yu with the two percent of defensive stats here which is something that he definitely needs only 86 of the commanders here so again missing a handful I'm really curious to know which ones they are that Royal Reapers Alliance man you definitely uh you definitely don't want to go up against them that's for sure coming in at number six is a familiar face here on the channel and it is none other than perfume of Mimi from Kingdom 1175 sitting at 990 million power oh my god this player is a legend of course Mimi has been on pretty much every one of these most powerful lists sitting at 21.8 billion kill points we take a look here 14 billion tier 5 7.4 billion tier 4 rocking the Germany civilization so certainly in between kvks I suspect so they get that extra troop training speed taking a look at the more information this account did also break the 1 billion power mark and that seems to be sort of the goal for these for these Krakens right these these super high spenders they just want to touch that 1 billion just to say that they did it and then it's time to kill those troops off okay we see 134 million dead troops which is pretty impressive 17 billion resources gathered and 17 billion what how is is this a perfectly even number what is it oh my god what are the odds of that that's got to be done on purpose there's no way taking a look at the album here this is stuff that we have seen before on the channel I actually interviewed Mimi if you want to see more Mimi content you can go ahead and check that out on the channel but we can see here uh playing rise of kingdoms while out to dinner which is of course something I have absolutely done uh this is I mean the cars and the clothes from Mimi's account are just ridiculous I highly recommend you check out the video where I interview them because they they show off a lot more on their Instagram but we can see here a couple of older pictures of them playing uh rise of kingdoms you can tell they're older because their iPad has a home button and if you're a rich person your iPad does not have a home button these days but back then probably did here we can see uh, a lot of, this is another reason you could tell that this is an old picture for one only 200 million power and two all these are probably talented these days which is absolutely insane taking a look at their commander view we can actually see their talents here so that's going to be really interesting we have Ragnar doing the barb killing which is shocking the Moses expertise of course uh we have Zenobia as the gathering hero now this is probably so they can show off their talents to players who are curious I I mean obviously they're not gathering with Zenobia but this is their talent build for Zenobia which I think is a very solid one uh this must be for mixed garrisons because obviously they didn't go all in on the infantry tree undying fury at only one is kind of shocking to me especially because if this is a mixed garrison then the hold the line talents aren't going to be as useful as this and as certainly this iron spear would probably be better for a mixed garrison as well but really I have no idea and honestly uh Mimi is a much better player than I am so I'm sure they know what they are doing 
taking a look here we have the Joan of Arc drill master iron guard Boudica knight head Amana Torre and the Tamiris charge captain so Tamiris uh, I think has made a little bit of a, a resurgence in the past year I mean Tamiris has always been relatively popular but their popularity has just gone through the roof as more and more players have found that swarming structures is the way to go and now that Tamiris is getting their museum a relic gonna be an absolute legend okay let's take a look at the Joan of Arc talents here of course we go okay we go all the way to the support tree all the way to the end here and then we grab uh emblazoned shield and disarm again really surprised at undying fury not being fully maxed out here not really sure what's going on there I would definitely suspect you would want that but I, I I don't know taking a look at uh the Boudicca talents we could see here they go all the way up to clarity and rejuvenate and then they finish this off with whistling arrows and they skip out on the archer attack over here which makes sense only one point in razor sharp does that make sense what do we what, are we missing points over here Mimi just doesn't like rage I guess I that's that's based on the past three talent builds they just don't care for rage regen or maybe they just get so much rage from their accessories you know nearby war drums and things like that I I don't know but taking a look at the amanatory build here we could see a, a very similar thing to the Zenobia obviously only grabbing a handful of the garrison talents again no rage on nowhere to turn really uncertain I mean I must be missing something clearly because we only have two points in razor sharp here I don't know what's going on but a mandatory obviously very tanky commander so definitely something you want as your knighthood moving on to number five on the list is also Mimi this is the flower of Mimi account so Mimi officially has two accounts in the top 10 most powerful so you can decide for yourself if that makes Mimi the most powerful player in rise of kingdoms I mean you just add these two numbers together and we have almost a two billion power player which is I mean spoiler alert there's no single account with over two billion power so is Mimi the most powerful player in the game you can let me know in the comment section below especially because they also have other accounts besides these two but flower of Mimi coming in at 998 million power with over 19 billion kill points 13.6 billion tier 5 5.2 billion tier 4 rocking the Germany civilization obviously also in the 1175 uh, kingdom both of these accounts are in two different alliances so Mimi's spending is spread across two alliances worth of players which I'm sure they certainly are uh, happy about taking a look at the more information this account of course also just peaked at over 1 billion power we have 95 million dead troops 26 billion resources gathered and 25 billion resource assistance also a very clean number here taking a look at the album again we have seen these images before but we could see here that uh rocking the Fendi you know driving the nice cars owning a literal horse I presume I don't know what oh we see her playing rise of kingdoms this appears to be at some sort of luxury clothing store or something so it's rock life everywhere no matter where you are even if you're even if you're mega rich you're playing rock at Louis Vuitton okay here we can see uh, the triple iPads all three with rise of kingdoms some delicious food here also rise of kingdoms so yes again check out my Mimi video if you want to see more of Mimi but the commander view here is a little bit different than we saw for the previous one so we have Flavius Bertrand Parik Suleiman Janziska Jadwiga and Theodora so this is mostly garrison but also some rally here as well so these are I mean what is Suleiman doing here like let's be honest what is this like what is this I have no are we really using Suleiman primary boys let's I don't think we are okay let's take a look at Tarek here we can see the talent build goes all the way up to Testudo formation loose formation here we came up grabbed snare of thorns hold the line this is all stuff that I would definitely suspect we grab the March speed because Tarek is relatively slow although I am you know if you're gonna do a rally with Tarek wouldn't you want like buckler shield or like something like that I don't know that's what I would suspect but I I again I could be absolutely wrong we come over here we could take a look at um look let's look at the Flavius talents here we go all the way to the top of the skill tree so I don't know if this is maybe an open field Flavius certainly if you did a Flavius primary for Garrison you would want some of these Garrison talents so I yeah there's definitely no way that this is a Garrison build moving over to Bertrand we could see they did grab Buckler Shield over here okay went all the way to the top of the defense tree and then came up the right side of the uh Cavalry tree grabbing Emblazion Shield definitely making him a bit more tanky already a very very tanky commander dragon's saber only has one point we're missing the undying fury as well so Mimi again just really hating that rage regeneration which is unusual taking a look at Jan Ziska we grab okay here we grab some rage regen on the garrison tree we love to see that came up the right side of the cavalry tree went all the way to the top two points of the skill tree here so really um interesting build I suspect this is a pretty good build I I have 
have no major complaints here again missing undying fury but uh they've probably done the math and decided that that wasn't worth it yadviga also pretty much the same oh it's a very similar build obviously this has the mobility tree so they did in fact grab undying fury here and went all the way to the top of the cavalry tree which we do love to see saving cross and spiked armor that makes a ton of sense i think this is a very logical talent build for uh yadviga as well theodora do we care about theodora's talents i mean come on it's theodora who cares right yeah i don't understand <laughs> it doesn't really matter it's theodora but let me know in the comment section below do you think mimi is the most powerful player in rise of kingdoms moving on to number four on the list we have the giga chad himself none other than the nefisto now this is a player that was not on the previous top 10 episode i don't remember if it's because they were technically number like 11 through 15 or if it's because i missed them i wasn't tracking their stats as closely but regardless the nefisto is obviously a player that belongs in the top 10 list because they're sitting at 1 billion power ladies and gentlemen this player is obviously infamous for waging war and being a relatively newer player to this list i mean you can see they're in kingdom 2831 so the speed with which the nefisto became a 1 billion power player is absolutely just unbelievable but currently rocking the germany civilization so obviously in between kvks with 8.3 billion kill points 3.1 billion tier 5 and 5.1 billion tier 4 so again this is a very new player compared to a lot of the other players that we've seen in this video which is why they have more t4 kills because they've been fighting in younger kingdom kvks which have fewer tier 5 players so it just makes sense logically i love this avatar for where did this frame come from I, why do i never see this this is a badass avatar frame taking a look at the more information section you can see that they are pretty much at their highest power ever right now with 61 million dead troops i mean the amount of dead troops in such a short period of time is insane looking at the resources gathered we only have 1.6 billion resources gathered and 89 billion resource assistance the amount of power for resource ratio like this is just oh my god this is insane the amount of money spent on this account is just ridiculous here you can see that nefisto has over 32 pieces of legendary equipment and six legendary talents i'm sure this number will go up dramatically very soon uh champion season eight wow that's that's the highest i mean pretty much nobody plays champions of olympia so the fact that it's so high that that's also impressive taking a look at the album here my man is whipping the ferrari while playing rise of kingdoms if that is not the most rich flex i've ever seen i mean 21 can you do something for me like this is at least we can see he's going zero kilometers per hour so we know that he was parked the car was parked okay so that it's safe to say my man wasn't playing and driving right let's be honest that's that's a little bit silly don't play rise of kingdoms and drive your lamborghini guys here we can see the moment where he finally reached 1 billion power so a little bit of a celebration they got a little heart going around the city here so obviously nefisto is a player that has a ton of people that love him and some people who i mean there's been a little bit of drama with the nefisto I, I don't i don't actually watch any drama videos but i've definitely seen other content creators making videos about the nefisto so uh i would love to hear your comments down below what do you think of the nefisto what does he have a good reputation to you or what, what do you think yo look at the shoe collection boys look i actually have seen this image so maybe i did talk about him in the previous episode i actually don't remember now got a little couple cause statues over here looking cute i mean this is the pre kvk numbers i mean just just look at this boys just look at this is not an i mean holy moly this is ridiculous of course shout out to puerto rico this does have a uh a watermark on here that's interesting and i don't know who this is can somebody is this from something is this is this character from somewhere i i don't really know you can let me know in the comments section below if we take a look at their commanders here they have 73 commanders so again newer player missing a lot of the season of conquest commanders as you can see all season one and two commanders here on their profile we have none other than saladin martel alexander the great Tsao Tsao, sunduk mulan and cleopatra so of course these are all commanders that are really solid investments uh Tsao Tsao obviously gets phased out really quickly and honestly so does saladin and martel once i mean a player of this caliber is just not going to use these commanders very soon but mulan is a pretty good investment for sure we cannot see the talent builds on these guys unfortunately but the fact that he has an expertise cleo and sunduk this soon after joining the game suggests that he used universals on them if i'm not mistaken so that's interesting especially because i don't i don't really see the nefisto gathering too much i could be wrong about that but regardless moving on to number three on the list we have none other than baba tc Ataturk. now this is a player that everybody pretty much loves okay everyone loves baba i think at this point baba has given his account to his son or family member i think that's the case i could be wrong about that i'm not actually sure there is 
not very much evidence from obviously like a name perspective or like an icon perspective so i i really don't know but baba sitting at 1.1 billion power with 38 billion kill points 30 billion of which are tier 5 and 8 billion of which are tier 4. i mean we haven't seen i think this is the first player that's gotten higher than mf in terms of kill points in this entire video which is actually shocking of course you would have to add together memes which i think is higher as well but uh, from an individual account perspective that is ridiculous and baba of course is an the origin he is the og most powerful player in the game so the fact that he's number three on the list now is um kind of shocking but still i mean once you break the 1 billion power point like there's really no point to keep going taking a look at the more info section you could see that his highest power ever was 1.3 billion power which spoiler alert even if he was at 1.3 billion right now his rank would not change which is mind-blowing taking a look at his dead troops 227 million dead troops boys that is absolutely ridiculous we have almost 9 billion resources gathered and over a hundred billion resource assistance this is just this is not only power but this is this is a savage right here this is a savage warrior you know what i know what everyone knows that rocking the ottoman empire civilization again uh, as i suspected would be the case we see a lot of that in the video we have seen this album before we have a couple pictures of family members baba rocking the suit looking classy looking flashy okay and we got of course the legendary ducati this has more likes than most of my videos guys what do you go ahead and drop a thumbs up on the video oh my god taking a look at the commander view we see some usual suspects guan and nevsky so I've seen some players telling me they think Guan is becoming outdated but as we can see here most of the highest power players in the game are still using Guan so I don't think that that is yet to be the case Trajan once again making a, an appearance here and Tarek is obviously his rally captain of choice so we can't see any of the uh, talent builds here but sitting at 90 commanders owned I believe that is all the commanders in the game so yeah something you would definitely suspect from a player like Baba who's been playing for so long uh I do think that this is the oldest this is in fact I just checked the oldest account on the list so uh Baba is again like I said the OG the original gangster okay this is that dude sitting in kingdom 2489 right now and yeah he's been in every single episode of highest power and also highest kill points so a legend moving on to number two on the list we have none other than maverick l now this is a player that i find unusual because for years now there have been rumors that maverick l is a developer for the game that he is the founder of lilith or some sort of mythical something like that players love to gossip and, and make things up but what sort of adds some credibility to those theories is that maverick is not on the official rise of kingdoms power ranking and surely with 1.4 billion power you would suspect that the devs wouldn't uh gloss over this account unless they had a good reason to so i am now leaning more towards the idea that maverick l is in fact either an employee of lilith or i mean I, I don't know why else would they not put him on the list right anyway sitting in kingdom 1322 rocking the germany civilization maverick is obviously in between kvks with 9.5 billion kill points 6.8 billion tier 5 and 2.6 billion tier 4. i don't see anything here in the album and this uh this logo has not changed this i don't know who is this character i i have no idea taking a look at the more information you can see their highest power ever was 1.5 billion so they've lost about 100 million power here we have 173 million dead troops which is huge 847 million resources gathered this player does not gather resources okay uh and 16 billion resource assistance which is just insane taking a look at the commander view we see some similar suspects as we saw before we have nevsky guan yu uh nebu which we haven't seen on the list and zhang yu which we've only seen i think one other time so far owning a total of 90 commanders we cannot see the talent builds on these guys um nebu is really interesting i'm really concerned as to why you wouldn't see like a Boudicca prime here or something i, I mean obviously if they pair them together that would make sense they would get the stats either way but yeah really not sure what's going on here um is it possible that the maverick doesn't play the game that much anymore um that that could be the case and why they may not have included him on the official top 10 list because i mean these are some 
older commanders here uh, I mean they're not old but they're obviously season of conquest but you know typically we, we would see like a CPO prime or we would see like again Boudicca prime Henry like where are those guys where's the Joan of Arc prime right these are all I mean we have Tao Tao here I, I don't know something's going on with Maverick's account it's very interesting and coming in at number one on the list is none other than Yoda AFK now Yoda goes by multiple different names this is Justin okay we've also shown off his account here on the channel Yoda is sitting at 1.5 billion power with 8.3 billion kill points also rocking the Ottoman Empire civilization if we look at the information here we could see that Yoda is at their highest power ever suggesting that the AFK tag is accurate they're just they're just they're just gaining power they're just chilling basically okay we have almost 100 million dead troops here which is nice uh we have 6 billion resources gathered and almost 100 billion resource assistance now again this is one of the younger players on the list I think we have Mr Hope Wild Lion and the Nefisto are the only players in this list that are younger than Yoda so Yoda has been around a little bit longer than those guys but still very young compared to players like Baba and Maverick so a relative newcomer but definitely not a stranger to these top 10 most powerful lists taking a look at the album we can see basically Yoda is showing off that they have essentially um expertise everything hello okay basically expertise every commander in the entire game except for these four which are obviously like the four worst commanders in the entire game Yoda has been playing long enough to have Lubu though so that's okay so Yoda I guess isn't that young of an account here we can see they the farm well logo so at one point uh when Yoda was a much younger account and still growing to that 1 billion mark players uh did call him a, a farm well and so he just went with it and I oh my god that's a cute puppy there's two adorable little puppies here I think these are different puppies they look different this is a haircut and this is pre haircut I, I don't know but adorable little puppies and you guys better go over to his account and drop a like on these little puppy pictures look at this dude look at this dude this is like a million this is what this is a million dollars right here I mean between this this and like I mean this is over this is over a million dollars this account is I mean just if you were wondering I'm not even kidding this account is over a million dollars so that's not a joke okay here you could see the seven builds that we have here okay so we have YSS primary I suppose based on that equipment which is interesting um we have a Guan primary and we have a Sargon primary so those are his two infantry marches he has a Boudicca primary and Henry primary so that's two archer marches then we have two cav marches obviously Nevsky Zhang Yu those are the two everyone's running so everything there you would suspect if we take a look here you can see some of the uh commanders that we just talked about obviously we have Nevsky YSS Boudicca and Zhang Yu can't see the talents here but they are of course all expertise also never doing champions of Olympia might I add very interesting uh, point there and I think that is pretty common also it's worth noting that right now Yoda is in Kingdom 1254 in the super washed Alliance are they suggesting that they're washed up I think you got a lot of gas left in the tank Justin don't don't do that to yourself anyway guys with that being said if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton of helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it if you're new here consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video while you're down there comment down below your thoughts on the top 10 most powerful players and also let me know how often do you think should I do this series I'm considering doing it four times per year so once per quarter I think that's a good frequency to do it I think doing it every month is just there's not going to be enough of a change but if we only do it twice per year we might be missing some things let me know in the comments section below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace